Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some huge news over at the CW which came out yesterday. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, the big news over the last couple of days has been that the CW is being shopped around and by Warner Media and CBS, the two parent companies that own the CW, and that's why it's called CW because it's CBS and Warner Bros. So I'm going to be going over a Deadline article. There is the original Wall Street Journal article, but the Deadline one has been updated with some comments from the CW's president, Mark Pedowitz, who we've talked about many times in the past. So that's why we're reading from Deadline's article. Link will be in the description below to it. I have lots of thoughts about this, but first off, we're going to go ahead and read some of this article. So the CW might get a new majority owner. 15 years after the broadcast network's launch, its co-parents, Viacom, CBS, and Warner Media's Warner Bros, are considering a controlling stake sale. Sources confirmed the deadline. Next Star Media Group, which is the CW's largest affiliate group following its acquisition of Tribune, is believed to be among interested buyers. Sources caution that conversations with multiple suitors are in exploratory stages and no deal is imminent. So if you guys don't know what a controlling stake sale is, I think it's pretty obvious. They are looking to sell the CW to someone else who can have a bigger stake in the company so that they're not the only ones putting in money to the network. One of the interested companies is Nextar Media Group, who is one of the companies that are interested in buying the CW is Nextar Media, who is currently one of the CW's largest affiliate groups, which makes sense considering that they are current affiliates with the network. I don't know that much in regards to the business side of the CW and how they run things, but let's move on from here. So the potential sale, first reported by the Wall Street Journal, comes amid an ownership change for Warner Media, which is being acquired by Discovery pending regulatory approval. None of the architects of the CW are still around, most notably former CBS CEO Les Moonves, who was the driving force behind it. Since the CW's creation, CBS merged with Viacom and while Warner Media was acquired by AT&T, which is now selling it to Discovery. Hours after the news of the potential sale broke Wednesday night, the CW chairman and CEO Mark Pedowitz on Thursday morning addressed recent speculation in the press around the CW in an internal memo to staff. As many of you are aware, over the past year or so, and this is coming from Mark Pedowitz, this transformative time in our industry has led to a series of business activity across media and content companies, he wrote. Given that environment right now, Viacom, CBS and Warner Bros are exploring strategic opportunities to optimize the value of their joint venture in the CW network. He stressed that it's too early to speculate what might happen, and then Deadline goes on to say the CW, which caters to young adults, has defied expectations getting to 15 years when many have predicted it would fold or move to cable slash digital early in its run. The network's business model has worked because of its unique setup, being co-owned by two major studios that supply all of its scripted programming. While the CW has never been profitable as a standalone entity, it has created value for its studio parents, providing US broadcast distribution for shows that they can exploit internationally and on streaming. Among valuable assets the CW has helped create for its studio partners are the Arrowverse series Riverdale All-American and Gossip Girl and Walker Dynasty and Jane the Virgin. And so they go on to say, that is hard to replicate, which is why here the most likely scenario would be for Warner Media and Viacom CBS to sell a majority stake in the CW while retaining minority ownership and remaining the suppliers. Now that's a very important thing. So that means that the people who are currently behind the shows will still be behind the shows and the new network would just be the ones supplying money and backing the network as a whole but wouldn't be the actual suppliers, so there wouldn't be like a major shift in like ownership of the CW and the people behind it. So the shows, specifically the Arrowverse shows in our case, should remain pretty much the same if this does go ahead. So Deadline continued to say, the current CW model makes it unfeasible for outside studios to produce shows for the network. 
It would be interesting to see if a new majority owner would change the terms so that other studios can supply the network along with Warner Bros TV and CBS Studios. For the past decade, the CW has been run by Pedowitz, who took the then female skewing network and broadened its appeal and balanced its audience with shows like the DC dramas and Riverdale while also forging a digital path for the brand. He also led the network's expansion to Sunday and Saturday, making it a network that programs seven nights a week. The CW received a major shot in the arm in 2011 when Netflix paid $1 billion for the streaming rights of the network's entire lineup. A number of CW shows remain on Netflix, brining in fees, but in 2019, Warner Media and CBS Studios opted to end the agreement and instead steer the series they produce for the CW to their own streamers. So HBO Max and then also CBS's streaming services. So the end of the Netflix deal gave the CW in-season stacking rights to their show, which has been key to the network growing its digital footprint. An earlier adopter of streaming, the CW has been a formidable digital operation and outsized social media reach, which could be attractive to buyers, which could potentially include streamers, I hear. And so this is very important. So they talk about how the CW has been very successful in terms of their digital operations, but very importantly, their social media reach. It's without a doubt that the CW has some of the most popular shows on TV right now. Just look at The Flash or Riverdale or even new shows like Superman and Lois. They are huge. In the past, you had shows like Arrow, Supernatural and Smallville, which were equally as big. Deadline goes on to say a next star deal would bring the CW in line with other broadcast networks. And so here is Mark Pedowitz's note to his CW team. So he says, we must continue to do what we do best, make the CW as successful and as vibrant as we've always done. We have a lot of work ahead of us with more original programming than ever. This season's expansion to Saturday night, our growing digital and streaming platforms and we thrive when we come together and build the CW together. So that's about it in regards to the actual article. I'm going to bring up some notes that I have here because it's important that we talk about our other shows and if there's going to be any big changes because when everyone saw the articles, obviously the first thought that went into everyone's mind is, is the CW going to cancel all these shows? Is there going to be any big shakeups? What could this mean for the other shows? And so it should be noted that the CW apparently was never intended to be an actually profitable thing, but as a way to make money off the individual shows by then selling them to streamers, as noted in the Deadline article, and also selling them abroad to other networks. And so the CW apparently makes their money off of ads as a network, rather than the two parent companies that own the CW, who basically use the CW as a way to broadcast the shows and then afterwards they sell those specific shows in their new seasons to streamers like Netflix where they make their big, big money. And obviously once a show gets 100 episodes, they get syndication and that's when they become even more profitable. And so if they get sold and the network is owned by a new major stakeholder, some shows could be in danger because it wouldn't be the two studios, CBS and Warner Bros, actually having control of the shows. Yes, they are producing the shows, but they're not the ones at the end of the day calling all the shots about, you know, what specifically should happen. If there's anything that they want the CW to do when they're creating their shows, they do have the authority to make changes. And so if a show is doing bad with its live ratings, the new owner of the network could potentially cancel some shows. But it depends on who buys the stake, as the new owner obviously wouldn't make that much profit off of selling the shows to HBO Max or anything like that because you know Warner Bros is still in control of it and CBS is also and where this new network would make most of their money would be off of ads and how many people are watching the shows so that could put a new emphasis of going back to live ratings because recently since HBO Max and since all these streamer deals it hasn't been a big deal about ratings because they've made their money elsewhere as we previously stated but this new owner could definitely go back to that old way as they will want to try and make it at least a little bit profitable and so it seems that more pressure on the people behind the shows 
could be a big thing if say network ratings aren't doing good for that specific show i don't know if it's naomi superman lois riverdale any of the shows on the cw they could pressure the people behind the shows so the showrunners to go back to what made the show even more popular in the past so basically bringing them back to their roots to try and get those past viewers when the ratings say we're at their highest so that could be a good thing for the network and for the actual shows like the flash for instance could go back to similar to how it was in season one or legends could change totally however it all really depends on who actually buys the stake and how many big changes are they going to want to make are they going to prioritize having good live network ratings or are they going to realize the popularity of these shows on social media and the outreach of the shows are really impressive and that's why they do well after they've come out or are they not going to care about that at all and be like you know this show isn't working we aren't getting loads of live ratings therefore making less money off of adverts because less people are going to be interested in buying ads but at the end of the day there is going to be changes when this event happens however it has been emphasized that the deal with Nexstar hasn't actually gone through and whoever are the other potential buyers out there and they could go back on their intention to sell the major stake of the CW to another network or company but when those changes happen I don't think it's going to be noticeable for quite a while because obviously they need to kind of phase in and they will continue what the CW has been currently doing with Warner Bros and CBS for a while and then they'll begin to phase in their new ideas if someone buys it and so they'll be wanting it to do really well as they don't own HBO Max or any of the streaming services where they would be actually bringing them on and so it wouldn't be super profitable for that company. So just to end this video I have to say I don't think I'm worried about any of the shows especially The Flash because it's so popular and shows like Riverdale also I think have no worries because most people and most companies will realize how popular these shows are and that they have great value being out there even if their ratings week to week aren't the best in the world and don't compare to something on CBS or something on ABC because at the end of the day the CD is a smaller network and the targeted outreach as mentioned in the article is a lot smaller than just like wide open dramas like you would get on CBS with like their cop shows or any of the action shows out there these are more teen orientated obviously that doesn't restrict who can actually watch them because so many people from other generations watch the shows but there is a preconception of the CW and the shows that they make so I'm interested to see everything that goes down and if it actually goes down at the end of the day. What do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm very interested to see your takes. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe and turn on the notifications if you are new to not miss any videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.